What's up, guys? This is Jay McDon, and I'm with Just JC, and this is the One Percent Podcast. Today on on today's podcast, yeah. we're going to talk about how complacency is a killer. Facts. I'm talking a big killer. Big killer. Episode six, right? Yeah, it is episode six. Let's not forget because <laughs> we always jack it up. <laughs> but we'll get there. Yep. So complacency is a dream killer, right? Absolutely. All right. Mm. What do you think? I like. In your own words. Mm. Like, so com- let's talk about complacency first. Uh, complacency is something that we all struggle with. Like everyone. I'd be surprised. I would even say um, that, you know, uh, the cream of the crop also get complacent. I would say so. Yeah. But I would say f- for sure that they're they're more like um, prone to countering it. You know what I mean? Or stopping it or... They have it, but it's not as much as everyone else because they wouldn't be where they're at. Like, let's talk about the, the Elon Musks, you know, the, yeah. um, the LeBron James. It's like they get complacent too, but it's not not like everyone else. Like everyone else, they'll go like days being complacent. So yeah. we all have aspirations. We all have dreams. Um, I think with, with that complacency is a dream killer. You know, for me, I always think about this, especially with this podcast and these videos that we do is like, <clears throat> My good friend, Bully Juice, right? Shout out to you, my boy. Um, in 2017, yep, 17, we're, on, we're deployed together. Okay. And he's the one that put me on the YouTube game, right? That was a long time ago. Uh, three yeah. years. I mean, technically shoot. four years. Yeah, it's coming, shoot. 2022. Oh, Happy New Year, y'all. Happy New Year. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, dude. So, Happy New Year, right? So, he put me on this YouTube game. And at the time, he had 20,000 subscribers. And then he's like, hey, man, like, first of all, we work out all the time. You, why don't you post workout videos? Because I was a certified personal trainer. I was like, I, I do on my Instagram, like, you know, just like mm. little tidbits. He's like, no, nah, man, like, you should post, like, full videos on YouTube. And I'm like, sure. So, you know, deployed. We had a little excess money, right, because we weren't spending on anything. So I ordered some stuff on Amazon, got my camera. Got my vlogging stuff, and I started vlogging and recording workout videos in 2017. So I told him, hey, man, I'm going to start posting this stuff. Um, w- w- what advice can you give me? Because I'm struggling to get views and subscribers. And he was like, be consistent. I don't care like if you post one once a week, twice a week, once a month, something. Just be consistent with whatever you're doing with, with your posts. As you may guess, something happened. Life. Yeah, it always happens. I got complacent. Uh, I got. I came back from the deployment, and I went back to my normal, not normal gig, but my normal, you know, day to day habits that didn't involve um, posting videos. Cause I got complacent. I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. I got, you know, back home. Got, you know, to my normal like day to day. You know, working out, hanging out, chilling with the friends, and all that stuff. So. I got complacent, and I'm not going to say it cost me because we're here now, you know? Right. Everything happens for a reason. But from that point, <clears throat> he had 20,000 subscribers. From the point where I kind of went back into the YouTube game, he had amassed to 500,000 subscribers. Eesh. And now he's at like 1.3 or something million. Eesh. So it's big time. Yes, it's a lot. Obviously, he got the Air Force, and... He did not get complacent at all. He was grinding because he had a family at the time. So he stayed on his YouTube game, posting videos constantly, yeah. consistently from that point till now. And he still does. So he was able to build a career out of it. And I'm not saying that I would have done the same thing. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you right now, for sure, I would have a lot more than you know the amount of subscribers I have now. So that's a good example I always think about where I knew what I needed to do. I just didn't do it. Didn't execute. Yes, because I got, I got comfortable back to my comfort zone. And I didn't execute, and then I'm not saying that I'm paying for it now, but we're here because I'm happy doing these podcasts, videos, and stuff. But I would say that I'm not saying that I'd have like twenty thousand subscribers, but I had a lot more than what I have now, and it'd be nice. But the goal now is to not get complacent, to mm. keep on this posting schedule, which we've been doing. So. That's what I think about when when I think about that phrase complacency. So with that, how do you counter the complacency now that you've, oh. you? Yeah. 
There's a lot too, because now I would say that my hour schedule, right? Insane. 300 times more crazier than it was before being MTI. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, if I can do this now, there should be no excuse. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So what, what I do, <coughs> excuse me. So what I do to counteract that is that um, I set uh, goals and deadlines, kind of reminders for me. Okay. So on the days, like, and you, you sent me that video too uh, of uh, from TikTok, right? Yeah. Uh, it was a couple of days ago. Kind of the same thing to where I set goals like, hey, I want to record X, Y, and Z uh, videos or content yep. in this week. Knowing that my my um, schedule is going to be super busy, uh, but I, I I literally set out those goals and deadlines to where I need to meet these. I can't come up with excuses because that's what I used to do, yeah. but I'm gonna meet these deadlines and and um, these goals, and I'm gonna do it every single week. And I'm a visual person, so I have to write it down. So I just write it on my phone, I'm like, hey, this is what you gotta record. Yeah. You gotta do on this, even though like today, right? We were supposed to record at three. And, and we, we ended moved up, it. Yeah, moved it a long, long time. Because life happens. Yes, but I was still like, hey, by Wednesday, I need to record one more video, and which is where we're at. So for me, I was able to do it by literally setting deadlines, goals, and taskers. That's what it was, the world's thing. Taskers, taskers to where I yeah. see it, and I have to check it off. Heck yeah. How about you? So what what do you do? Well, first of all, uh, what is your, like, how do you see that phrase? What, complacency being a killer? Yeah. Um. First things first, I think that there's no if ands, or buts about it. Yeah. Like, you get complacent. It's like you're in quicksand, right? And Well, that's a good uh, analogy. You, you move in quicksand. Yep. You sink quicker, right? Yes. But you know what you need to do to get out. Um, I'll take it back to before I joined, because I told my story on our, what, podcast number four. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, I talked about like college and yeah. being in college and baseball and like which is I, big time like yeah, getting yeah. a scholarship right yep that's that's not everyone gets a scholarship right it wasn't full but nonetheless it like it was something yeah um and I had put all these years of work in for um baseball the yeah. sport that I love yep and to get to the point where I wanted to be Maybe not at the level I wanted to be at, but at the point where I wanted to be. I wanted to play co college baseball. Yep. Um, I knew what I needed to do, and I still I went to the college that I knew I shouldn't have gone to. Um, Why do you say that? Because I knew complacency kind of was waiting for me. Over there. Yeah. Mm. I knew the people that were there. Ah. Some of the people that I played <clears throat> baseball with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whether it be travel or high school baseball. Yep. I knew. And by no fault of theirs, but just me being around those people. Um, it's like a recipe for disaster. disaster. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it ended up yep. becoming. I don't know if I manifested it, but at the end of the day, the complacency landed me back home away from my dream of one day playing major leagues, minor leagues, wherever it may be, yeah. right? Years yeah. of putting in that work. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now learning um from that mm -hmm. i talked about how the military was my second chance i yep. wasn't gonna let that go to the wayside yep um applying every single day so how i try to counter it and i'm mm, a victim too i'm yeah, complacent yeah. all the time yeah um but how i counter it is um before i joined the air force i i started to build as david goggins would say like a mental callus yeah um and i knew what i needed to do like I knew I needed to do so many push-ups to prep for PT for yep, yep. BMT. So, like, I would get in bed at night sometimes before I joined BMT, and I would hop out of bed. I was like, dang, I was supposed to be do 150 more push-ups. I didn't do them. And I'm just laying in bed, and I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm like, I'm going to just get up and do them. I'm going to stop thinking about it and just do it. Yeah. Um, kind of like your taskers. Yeah. Um, seeing it, knowing I need to do it, and just – not thinking through the process and just yeah. going for it. Um, kind of almost like this podcast, like you just got to get after it. You yeah. Know? So would you say that? And, and I kind of thought of it while you're saying it, is that like we as like people, we get into our heads, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you got to do something, 
mm-hmm. like but you're gonna procrastinate and then you do it you know like um i'll find myself and i preach this all the time to like my trainees and people that like you get on social media then you're just stuck scrolling yeah. five minutes turn to 10 minutes turn to 15 the next you know it's, it's like hour. hours Sheesh. right that's a form of complacency you know what i mean because you yeah. are supposed to be doing whatever it is mm-hmm. something not not saying that it's not um what's the word beneficial because sometimes like especially with our jobs like i have to i legit have to do that like i learned that i have to set some time to where i just kind of unplug mm-hmm. and i kind of just like get my mind off of like mti because i'm yeah. i'll lose it you know so i have to do it but i would say that you know i kind of get into my head sometimes like i'm like oh you know i'll i'll do it later or like i'll mm-hmm. uh, i got five more minutes and like i said like you end up i always talk about this too with um <clears throat> some like my trainees and people and my peers is that you're on youtube and you're watching like a video and then it's like 3 a.m you're watching the video of all the dudes like in the forest like making uh like, cuts and stuff. So, you know what i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i'm talking about and like digging up huts and, and there it's, it's like why like why am i watching this like how did this happen it's like 3 a.m you get so lost yeah you get lost in like the the i know exactly what you're talking about so that's another thing like it's like being complacent so would you say that we get into our heads and then if if we do like what can we do to or what do you do yourself to um get yourself out or like pull yourself back out you know what i mean because sometimes and i'll share it too with y'all like my 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 checklist and stuff it's not Mm. enough i gotta do other things yeah so I think that's an easy yes. Do yeah. we get inside of our heads? I think absolutely. Yeah. Um, because if you're not talking to yourself, like trying to talk yourself out of things, then I think something wrong. Yeah. I mean, you're just mindlessly acting, right? Yeah. You gotta have that conversation with yourself as long as you don't respond. Um, but <laughs> like respond. <laughs> you can't respond. Can't Should respond. I do this? Yeah. And you and you said, how do what was the last part of it like how do we counteract it like it, when we're getting to our heads like a good one is like going to the gym you know okay so and you know you got to do it but you talk yourself out of it dude i've sat in parking lot for like oh. 45 minutes before i've gone into the really gym. I, when i was doing 75 hard yeah, yeah yeah i was like there were times where like i literally had to fight off complacency like being yeah. complacent like there were days where i was like yo i could be at home my newborn daughter. Yeah. I could be, by the way, horrible choice to do 75 harder with a newborn. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, um, my wife and I made it through it and I came out better for it. But yeah. To fight that off, like, oh, it's basically you're battling the demons, like, yeah, yeah. the angel over your shoulder and the devil on the other one. And yep. you're kind of just you have to talk yourself out of it. Like, why is this beneficial to me? Yeah. And like, when you get to that point where you're having a, where you're in your head, yeah, it's time to have those conversations. Like, what am I willing to give up? And what am, what am I willing to sacrifice to gain? Yeah. Um, I mean, when I was training to retrain into pararescue, yeah. uh, I'll go on this run on the backside of Lackland Air Force Base at the old golf course. And I knew the turns. I had run it, ran it so much. I would run. I was running like 25 miles a week and go work out, yep. do my little bodybuilder stuff, and then go run. Yeah. And it was like between four and a half and six and a half miles I would run. Um, and there were days where I would know where I was going to turn, like, mm. like yeah, the yeah. shorter way. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The short way is here. Yeah. And I would literally have that conversation with me the fir- with myself, like the first half of that run. Yeah. And I would be like, I would get to it. I would get to that point. I wouldn't even look at it. I just keep going. Yeah. So like, almost kind of ignoring, ignoring the the bad end of the progression. So the thing that's gonna halt you. Yeah. I kind of ignore it and just push forward. Okay. But I kind of have to be. For me, I have to be knee deep in it already. <clears throat> Like I need to be doing it, and once I'm there, yeah. I'm always gonna choose the path that's gonna make me better. Okay, yeah. I, I would say I, my mind works. No, I, I do the same thing too, and I think um, something that I always turn back to is uh, let's say that it doesn't work, you know, because sometimes it's not enough. 
for me at least because yeah. like you you know you have all these things going on it's like man i gotta do this so blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. i always kind of think back to why am i doing this in the first place you Your know why my why so yeah. i kind of like bring myself back and i like remember like man like this is why i'm doing it like the reason why i'm on this diet is because